It's a little bit of snow and uh, some uh, drizzle out there in uh, some parts of our area this morning. You also now, Michelle, have a look at uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, right? And that's seven day? Yeah, it goes all the way out to Christmas Eve and a potential storm system for that busy day before Christmas. Let's go ahead and take a look at City Cam this morning because the sun is breaking through the clouds now in Providence. The earlier snow showers and rain showers that pass through a couple of hours ago have uh, cleared out for most of our area and we look dry through the rest of the day. One thing that you'll notice happening through the day is the winds picking up right now. They're sustained around 14 miles per hour and we'll have the potential for some gusts as high as 30 miles an hour as the day goes on 37 right now feeling like 28 the humidity running at about 72% and the radar again mostly quiet now not only in Rhode Island but most of Bristol County and the last little sprinkles flurries moving their way off of eastern Massachusetts the skies clearing out behind that and our threat tracker future cast going to be low for today tonight and into tomorrow is just enough of a snow shower today to coat some of the grassy surfaces north and west of Providence this morning Warwick now you're well above freezing so uh, roadways may still be a little bit damp but not anything that should slow you down 37 for the temperature with a wind gust up to 21 miles an hour 38 in Seekonk and a 23 mile an hour wind gust and a temperature of 39 in Tiverton there will be a wind chill factor today the winds busy enough to create those uh, wind chills that'll be in the 20s and 30s through the day so you'll need the warm coat today after a milder day yesterday low pressure will continue to depart we're gonna have high pressure build in Friday Saturday now looking like it may still even control our weather into Sunday. So things improving for the second half of the weekend compared to what we were thinking was a possible ocean storm here for the second half of the weekend. That scenario now looking more unlikely. As we look at our future cast this morning, we'll continue to clear out our skies. So partial sunshine for the afternoon, dry for the ride home from work this evening. Tonight looks quiet but it will be chilly. We wake up tomorrow morning in the 20s at 6 a.m. and we'll only recover into the upper 30s to maybe briefly hitting 40 in a few spots Friday afternoon. For this morning, we'll be at about 38 still at 9 o'clock, blustery and colder than yesterday. Skies continue to brighten 44 for the afternoon high in Providence. Most of us, though, around 42, 43 degrees. Mix of sun and clouds, those northwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour with some gusts up to 30. So again, Air temperatures in the lower to mid 40s feels though like the 20s and 30s. Tonight we fall to 28 degrees. The winds start to diminish much colder start than the last few mornings and your seven day future cast will be cool through the weekend. Upper 30s on Saturday looking dry after starting the morning in the mid 20s. There'll be an increase in the clouds though as the day goes on on Saturday and by Sunday the clouds are winning out over the sunshine. Uh, it looks like a mostly dry day. Maybe a light rain or snow shower popping up. Nothing that should keep you from running those holiday errands. Monday, mostly cloudy again. Be a 30% chance of a brief shower. Better shot for showers as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday, of course, Christmas Eve. We've got a big storm system that'll be impacting the eastern half of the nation, the center of it going over the Great Lakes. On that track, rain for our area. And that rain may be heavy at times, windy, and a warm storm with temperatures up to 50. Looks like it'll be out of here for Christmas morning, turning much colder and brisk as we head into uh, your Christmas day. 